and cookie like i mean edu and uh undo election is coming and of course we saw the role the your committee went on oversight function before the uh, bias uh, election well, how far are you are you going to do the same and what will you do different this time to ensure that uh, we know what is happening at Doha is as if Edo is boiling now with a lot of political intrigues so how is your committee going to step as a chairman first of all as our role as chairman we, we will definitely go and do oversight for those two, two states uh, Edo and uh, Ondo we are going to so by those things like we did in Kwaga in uh, Baeza and Koji, we make sure that all the materials needed are there and that we check the staff whether they have problems or not. And uh, while there are problems, we are able to call the committee on uh, the chairman and commissioners of I know to rectify those problems. So our visit there was was good and uh, it was helpful to the election. And this time you will do the same. And way. this time we intend to do an Edo and Ondo even much more because it is really boiling much in in Edo uh, on the elections and we are also want to make sure that the INA do this job effectively. Mm. And of course I asked earlier about the Edo Assembly seat declaration and uh, the court has and uh, INEC is still waiting but the uh, speaker said they've really written to INEC and they've declared and uh, we don't know maybe... You see, you see it's part of the amendment we need to do an electoral act. You don't just because of party differences, a speaker will simply declare seats vacants of, of members. Uh, they didn't lose election, they were all members in the, in the House, and they, you cannot simply easily... He has the role to declare, it is the responsibility to, to declare a seat vacant, but it doesn't mean because there's political differences, you can simply declare. So therefore, we're also looking at amending the Electoral Act in such form, so that things could conform to the reality the reality is that people have been voted and they can't go to the house and be declared uh, based vacant. But did they use some, uh, some said that because the man one didn't come for inauguration, and I said neglect of duty, a lot of allegations yeah, that they flouted the you laws. See, all this is politics, it's because the leadership of the state are having problems within themselves, and supporters of one leader and the other are taking it to a war. Therefore, that issue will look at it and make sure amendment electoral act is, is done to tell this kind of problem. A lot of protests have been going on here for more than six months to speed up the passage of this Electoral Act Amendment. Mm -hmm. How soon do Nigeria expect the Senate or the National or the Senate for us to take that big step in we, passing this? We, we are working on that like uh, by next month, early next month between 5th and 6th and 7th of the uh, April, March we will be going to Lagos for a retreat to discuss all the areas of Electoral amendments suggested by by INEC and then some stakeholders that were the members that have raised the motions on the floor or, or bills on on the floor and then after that we come and do public hearing to get views of other uh, stakeholders in the country and from that we can now make up uh, a submission to the Senate uh, on amendment electoral act. Okay. Also, there is need to amend the constitution, areas where constitution give powers for stretch of political parties and to conform with what we have in the electoral act. Thank you.